Hey Ringsiders, what is going on? This is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer with Ringside Stories. Welcome back to the channel. We're making content regarding boxing and soon fighting as a whole with unique perspectives. So if you are interested in this type of content, feel free to subscribe, set the notifications on all notifications, hit the like button and share. That way you will know when the next Fire Vidi drops and it also grows the channel at the same time, which inspires us to make more amazing quality content for y'all. Now, as you've seen per the title, Billy Joe Saunders has come out once again, four weeks after his devastating eighth round TKO stoppage in the Saul Canelo Alvarez fight on May 8th, 2021. First of all, I'm about to preface everything that I'm about to say and some of y'all who've been around for some time, thanks for the support and thanks for your patience. However, I state on this channel, Ringside Stories, ever since its inception in January of 2020, that it is not my job to bash fighters, nor is it my job to bash trainers or promotions, anybody that has anything to do with the fighters. I understand they go through grueling training camps, they step through the ropes, they fight to the best of their abilities, they test their greatness, and the payment that they receive is based upon all of that effort. That doesn't give them the leeway, nor the caveat to come with fake news or false narratives. That being said, and I mean no disrespect, Billy Joe Saunders is guilty until proven innocent. Last week, you saw the footage that Billy Joe Saunders showed. Stormy fans, thanks very, very much for all the support over the last few weeks. Not being online to get back to anyone. Uh, Pretty much the first time after his devastating, humiliating defeat against Saul Canelo Alvarez. Did not address anything, did not answer any question. If anything, he gave you, gave us more to think about. Because first of all, it was very clear by the recording of the two Instagram stories back to back that he had flown back from the United States, that he was driving, and that his face looked completely unscathed. So that's the entry point for today's episode. Because last video, I saw dozens of comments pretty much conceiving the narrative that was drawn up by Team Saunders, that being Ben Davison, Mark Tibbs, promoter Eddie Hearn, and the rest of the media who never showed any information of Billy Joe's severe injury being factually true. And yes, I was aware that it was an Instagram story, thus the footage was inverted. Even showing the quote unquote wrong side of Billy Joe's face. Ask yourself this question, did you or did you not see anything out of the ordinary anywhere on Billy Joe Saunders face because if the answer is no then you should be critical whether Billy Joe Saunders underwent surgery as Billy Joe Saunders team keeps alluding to and whether or not Billy Joe Saunders even had that severe of an injury to start with last time I shared my observations I talked about the x-rays that promoter Eddie Hearn wanted to see from Daniel Dubois in November 2020 when he lost and quote unquote quit. I think most most people would post some kind of x-ray. I I, I'm not a doctor, but it didn't look, it looked like eye swelling to me, not not necessarily a, a fracture, but who, or do I know? But we'll see, I mean. A little bit more than six months later, Eddie Hearn's own fighter suffers this alleged injury and we haven't seen any of those x-rays. Forget the x-rays, where is the proof that Billy Joe Saunders even went to the hospital. It's a month after the Canelo Saunders fight and we still haven't seen one particular picture, no footage of Billy Joe even being in the hospital. Secondly, as stated, Billy Joe Saunders traveled from the United States back to the United Kingdom, which some states, some hospitals, some doctors would advise against, especially with an injury as proclaimed as severe as Billy Joe Saunders's was. Some people were even talking about it was a career threatening injury that chances are some doctors would advise against Billy Joe Saunders going back home by plane. 
And yet here we are, four weeks, three Instagram stories later, Billy Joe Saunders with an unscathed face driving on the roads in the UK. Now, add that to the evidence that is missing on Billy Joe being in the hospital, on the actual examination of Billy Joe Saunders' alleged severe career-threatening injury, we are left with even more questions. Here's Billy Joe Saunders' own trainer, Mark Tibbs, answering the question, how Billy Joe Saunders is doing ever since the loss against Saul Canelo Alvarez. I've not spoke to him. You know, I've texted him, he's texted me back, but uh, we haven't spoke. We, 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 you know, we was meant to speak, but we haven't spoke. So, um, yeah, I can't answer that. When are you kind of expecting him to come back in the ring? Pro B's, you'd have to ask him that. Yeah, you know, you'd have to ask him that. The most important team member in his team, Billy Joe Saunders' own trainer, knows just as much as us boxing fans about the situation, whether A, Billy Joe Saunders was in fact operated on his alleged fractured orbital bone, and B, whether Billy Joe Saunders is doing fine in his healing process, yes or no. The reason why I'm questioning the severity of the injury based on the missing evidence, based on the fact that Billy Joe Saunders looks to be unscathed, thus the fracture being career threatening, take a look at what really went down in the corner before the start of round nine. Now keep in mind, Billy Joe Saunders at that time had allegedly fractured his orbital bone in four places. Look how Billy Joe's cutman is applying the end swell. If your corner knew that you had injured your orbital bone severely, would your trainer allow the cutman to apply that type of pressure on your injury? Billy Joe Saunders is doing well and for all it's worth the eight million dollars let him enjoy that but for us boxing fans as when I reported on the Glovegate saga in the post Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 2 fight I want boxing fans to be critical of what they're being served by promoters by fighters training teams and what is being served in the media the quality of their content and the reporting and most importantly your own critical thinking because if Billy Joe Saunders did indeed quit if Billy Joe Saunders injury wasn't as bad as was reported at first then where does it leave us boxing fans if we don't ask the right critical questions that justifies Billy Joe Saunders being that sum of money when he didn't deliver on the night when a he said he was going to showcase the biggest heart Canelo would have ever seen. Be the gypsy warrior that him and his buddy Tyson Fury are, letting him down by getting stopped and quitting on his stool. And C, getting away with money that is being paid for by hard-working boxing fans to make it to the stadium or to pay for pay-per-view. Like I said last week on this topic, if you as a consumer are not pleased with the service of product, the quality thereof that you've been served, you have a right to complain. And yes, boxers do the hard work in training camp, in the fight, they put their lives on the line. But at the end of the day, the boxing fans make sure that the boxer gets paid. It's a catch 22. And so as boxing fans, we deserve, we have the right to ask critical questions and to not fall for fake news false narrative spun by people who have a different agenda than us boxing fans who just want to enjoy a good night of boxing. Anyway, these are my thoughts on these new leaked Instagram stories from Billy Joe Saunders account. But what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section below. This is your host, Boxing Subjective Observer with Ringside Stories. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content on boxing and fighting, 
in general with unique perspectives, then I know that you're going to love this channel. So feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, set notifications on all notifications. That way you'll know when the next fire video drops. Hit that like button and share as much as you want to. It helps build the channel and it also inspires me to make even more quality content for y'all. If you've already done that, we already know you're awesome. You are the undisputed champion. Till next time, guys, this is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer with the Ringside Stories. Thanks for watching and have a legendary day.